Hey friends, YouTubers, um, so I see you clicked this video and you wanted to know how to um, spend your money and afford the things you want. Um, so I wanted to share what I do personally and I think this would make everyone's future very, very, very bright. Um, I mean, not just your present, but just hopefully when you're older you actually can manage your money. Um, I'm huge into this because when I was younger, I was terrified of failing. Um, not that, like, unfortunately, money does kind of control our lives and show our success. Not that I'm not trying to say, like, money is what makes you successful. I'm saying not losing what you've worked so hard for makes you kind of successful. You don't want to, you know, swipe a credit card and buy some $1,000 guitar, and all of a sudden, later on, then you have to go and throw it back and then you owe more money like I don't want to do that so I'm saying like life and success as um, like goals in life um, I mean I don't want all my friends living homeless so um, and you youtubers that are freaking awesome and always follow my page um, you guys always ask me how do I afford so much gear and um, in this video I'm gonna show you exactly what I did um, so this will help you um, so there's three steps of how this whole money thing works that I always did um, and I still do it now I actually have a few more things that I added on to it I'll share with you later um, but uh, like say for the number one thing that you always need to pay um, hopefully whenever like the ones that are younger in middle school and high school that watch this video if you get started on this early you have such a easier bright future because that's what I did and it's so great so if you guys are definitely you know even even elementary school if you start making money that <laughs> at that age you're crazy but uh, I started making money in like 6th uh, and 7th grade and um, I started working for like lawn services and this is what I did. So you don't have bills to pay, but the number one thing that I always say are bills. You need to pay bills, um, especially like when you're 18 years old, you gotta pay for gas, gotta pay for car insurance, you gotta pay for uh, everything, rent for whatever apartment if you moved out that early. Um, so bills are number one, um, but if you're younger, you don't have bills so what I say second is life savings uh, life savings is very very important because in the future you are going to have a lot more things to take on and you're going to need money and if you just buy everything that's fun and games like I did this right whenever I got money right at the beginning I started buying stuff and then whenever I did have to buy anything I had to or I had to pay for something like food and stuff I was like oh I have a guitar but I don't have money for food this was when I was younger, so of course, you know, you know, my parents fed me, so it was great. Um, so I kind of got away with it. But when you're older, you can't just buy guitars and expect someone else to feed you. So um, savings, savings is definitely very, very important. And third is fun. Um, I know, like, we kind of live in like a depression in a way, um, and everyone wants to have fun. Um, everyone th goes through hard times, and they want to have fun. You can still have fun, but not spend money. Um, just definitely find how to do that. Uh, hang out with friends, go running, do something. Anyways, so what I'm going to show you is, so I'm going to use this as an example. So you have life savings, bills, and fun, right? Now, let's say I'm going to use guitar picks as money for an example because I'm not going to flash money on the screen and just look like a dick. So anyways, pretend I get a hundred dollars, right? be 10 each of these picks are $25 right so I made $25 or I made $100 in say one week right so $100 what I would do this is me personally you can do it any other way but this is the way that I found the most successful um, uh, so for instance life savings bills fun where would I put $100 what I would do I would go um, what do you call it so bills I would put 50 bucks Life savings, 25. And fun, 25. Now, say for instance, if I made something that was like uneven, and say I made a like 125. So I had five picks. I would put still two for bills, two for life savings, and one for fun. Um, the reason why I say this is because the more money you have in your life savings, the brighter, brighter future you have. That's what I would do. Um, and bills, here's the thing. is So if you have, say for instance, your bills were only 50 bucks that week. Just say for instance it's 50. I know most people have tons of crazy amounts of bills. 
So $50 go to bills. If you say for instance only had $25 in bills, what you do is you can either split this in half and put half in fun and half in saving. But you notice if I did that, like if I split it in half, my savings is still more than fun. The reason why I say this is like me for instance, I do want to buy a house. I have to work for it. I'm not going to get it from anyone. So this is how I would do it is, you know, and like say for instance, like if you made more money, let's say one, I'm counting right here. Give me a break. 150, one, so let's see. So now I made $200 a week, four picks. What would I do? Um, usually when I'm starting to make more money, it seems like I have more bills. So I would still pay the bills, you know, say three. I would put life savings, bam, bam, you know, three, and then maybe, maybe, you know, put $50 in fun. You can do it whichever way you want, but you always want to make sure your bills and savings are first. I understand everyone wants to have fun and everyone wants to play games. Um, you want to go to clubs and you want to spend all this money, but if you don't get your shit right and you always, just say for instance, what's going to happen is if... Say I say, all right, let's 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 pay our bills because we have to pay our bills, and let's take this money and put it all towards fun, which almost I know like everyone my age seems to be doing. Um, not everyone. Some people, you know, you're really smart. But so if you put it all in fun, so that's cool. Let's take that away. Pretend we spent all of it on fun, which was could have been bars. It could have been clubs. Um, and then you have bills, right? All right, now let's say you want to buy a house or you want to buy a car or your car breaks down. What happens? You're completely screwed because this is empty. I never, ever want to see anyone leave their bank empty. Like, I just think that's a terrible thing. I mean, it sucks because we don't make enough money, some of us, and that's what happens. But if you spend it all on fun, you're not going to have fun later in life. It's going to be really hard and really depressing. So, um, don't get me wrong. I love having fun. But see, I started this at a very young age, right? So, let's see this. I didn't buy food at gas stations, and I didn't go to the movies that much with my friends, right? So I did life savings, right? Life savings and fun, right? Let's go back to making 100 bucks, right? So life savings, if you're like in 8th grade, 8th grade, middle school, even high school, if you're in like middle school, this is what I did. I did 3 fun, 1 savings. That's still not bad. If you're young, your parents are paying for your stuff, you're still getting ahead of the game as everyone else doing life savings. You're still putting 25 and then you can still have all the fun you want because all you have to do is go to middle school and if you want to play video games. And I really support this. This is the only time I say when you're this young to actually spend more money on fun and stuff. But I'm not saying spend money on games. I'm saying for the, you guys that always want guitars and stuff, you want guitars, you want something that can actually hold its value, um, hobbies, if you've always wanted to have a nice bicycle and go riding off trails and stuff, save up for that and do it, you know, because you're only young once. And what I did was, I did this all the time and I used to buy a bunch of video games and then I was like, you know what, I really like guitars. So I used to do this through 7th, 6th, 7th and 8th grade is I would do a little bit of savings, 3 and fun, you know, so say $100 a week is what I made, just say. I'd don't even think I made that much, but um, just say. So that's what I did. So slowly, I still made money in the bank for my savings, but then I also got to afford the things I want, you know, like as expensive amps and gear. And I do this still, guys. This is such a good, like, tactic of just how to save money. Um, it's, I, I mean, it's, it's just great. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think that's all I really needed to cover. Um, so yeah, just go over like with yourself and what I would do is I would write, write out like a, a piece of paper and you know, say if I made a hundred bucks, write it down like what you did and schedule how much you put in, how much more you have and how much you're allowed to spend on fun. And then you'll start thinking smarter. Do I want to go blow $15 for a 3d movie or do I want to watch the movie with $10 and then, you know, just you know, still enjoy it. Or do I just want to wait a month and go see it at the dollar theater? That's what I would normally do because $10 for a movie that you probably don't even know if you're going to like, you know, then I can spend it on something that is in my hands and it's a beautiful piece of wood with six strings and it's <laughs> – so that's what I do. You don't have to do this with guitars. You can do this with anything. Um, and like another thing I do now too is 
So I am also like I have a job now. I do have bills. I do still want to do fun life savings and all that. But I'm also saving up for a uh, a dirt bike, like a dual sport dirt bike. So what I do is I have all of this and so let's write cool dirt bike. Uh, I can't write. Hold on. Cool dual sport. So I'm buying a dual sport for the road after I sell my scooter. Um, cool, I got a text message. So let's see. That's cool. Another text message. Um, anyway, so life savings, bills, fun. Cool dual sport. This dual sport is actually a vehicle I will be using on the road, but it's also a dirt bike I've always wanted. So say, for instance, I make $100 again. What do I do? So life savings, bills, cool dual sport. Now the dual sport is for fun. And let's see, bills. Um, and my, my dual sport is for fun. So I'm kind of sacrificing saving my money for fun. Um, and then, like, say for instance, if I made more, right? So let's put in four more, right? So then, what I would do is make sure my bills are paid, uh, life savings, uh, dual sport, and one more for fun. So you guys see what I'm saying? So slowly, your whole life grows. This will actually make you work harder because you would know I have to work twice as much in order to get the fun. If you work one time, make a hundred bucks, and you're like, I want to buy this, this cool, vi you know, video game or something. It's like a hundred bucks. You're just going to waste all the money on that, and then you don't have money for anything else. Manage your money right, and I think this would be a really, really great solution. Um, I just think this would be awesome. Um, like, for me, it's helped me a lot. I wanted to show you guys, and um, I'll try to do more um, of, like, money-saving tips on, I guess, how to be successful in life. Um, this is just the way I do it. I don't want to tell people, like, oh, you're wrong. Um, this is just the way I see myself as being successful and it's actually really helped me a lot and it's 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 getting to be where I feel like I'm actually getting a hold of seeing a bright future ahead of me so very nice um, I hope this helps you can definitely subscribe uh, you can follow my band below subscribe to my channel follow my Instagram do whatever you like have a great day guys good luck save your money goodbye